All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can link a NetBeans project to GitHub. The first thing you want to do is create your GitHub repository, or if you already have a repository, you need to copy the address. So I'm going to do that first. Then in NetBeans, you can do this with an existing project, or you can create a new project. I'm just going to create a new one here. And here's my project. I could type some code in here if I wanted to, but to link it up, we're going to right click on the project name, go down to versioning and click init git repository. And then click OK. And that's going to create a local repository in your project folder. The next thing you want to do, right click on your project again. Now you have the option for git down here and you can add. And this is just going to add all of your files to that repository. And then again, click on git and then click on commit. And this will show you all of the files that have changed for this commit. And you can leave your little commit message up here. First commit and commit. Click yes. And that sets up all of your local repository. To set up the remote repository, go back down to Git and hover over remote and then click push. Now if you've never set anything up before for this project, it's going to ask you to fill out this information here. This will be your username for your GitHub account. This will be the address that we just copied earlier. You can press control V to paste in the address of your repository. And for the password, you'll need to go to GitHub, click on your profile, click on settings. Down here on the far left, you click on developer settings. And then over here, click on personal access tokens then click generate new token. You have to give it some sort of name. And then for the expiration, I put mine to no expiration. So I don't have to do this again later. Then check off a repo because we only need access to the repo. And then click generate token. And once you've generated that token, copy and paste that right here where it says password. And then click next. And then check off your master branch and then click finish. And ask if you want to track the remote branch. I just click yes. And now you should be able to go back to your repository and you will see your newly created project up on GitHub. Now I'm going to delete this. And let's say somebody else already has a project up there and I want to clone that project. And we will go to team, get, clone. You'll need to give the address for the repository you want to clone. And again, you're going to need your name and password and then click next. Oh, down here, you can set the location wherever you want this project to be copied to. Select the branch, the directory, the clone name, will usually be the repository name. So you may want to name the project something else and then click finish. And then it's going to ask if you want to open the project and you can click yes. And it should appear over here on your projects window. And when you open that up, you should see all of the source code that was saved on GitHub from here on out. You can use Git. You can hover over Git here and do all the things you would normally do with Git. Add, commit. You can create a new branch. And then you can do all of your remote things, which is going to be pushing, pulling, and cloning.